I was sent to Niger, Africa. I was part of a mission with um, the 10th Special Forces Group. Uh, I also got mobilized for Iraq. And it really gave me the impetus to um, uh, become a nurse practitioner. Every employer has an obligation to provide employment, to provide opportunity, to recognize what these people have done, and to help them create an improved and better future for themselves, and in turn a better future for the organization and for the country and the community. As, as a United States Marine Corps veteran, it's, it's, it's an honor to serve for an organization who feels in its heart that is their duty and responsibility to stand behind our military, not only by providing the highest quality of care and services, by leading a movement. We are truly leading a movement to change the way in how companies and communities view, treat, and serve those who have served us. Veterans uh, have had to work in very, very dynamic environments. And healthcare is a dynamic environment. So I think that all of the aspects of leadership that are important, ability to influence people, ability to create trust, the ability to have followership, uh, the ability to have a very good understanding about where it is you want to go. All of those are attributes that are key to the success of any organization. It's about uh, standing up and being accountable. It's about caring for the person next to you. It's about understanding that the mission is the most important and it's not just about you. And we take that back into our civilian life. We acknowledge your contribution. We acknowledge your experience. We acknowledge your commitment to the community and to the United States. And we are unbelievably grateful for everything that you've contributed. Thank you, heartfelt thank you for your service and all the sacrifices that you and your family have made. It is part of our mission to ensure that no veteran or family member in our community is left behind. For those that are currently serving, my brothers and sisters all throughout the world, stay safe, come home. God bless you all.